new for Notebook 11 is the Activity Builder. This allows you to build activities right on your notebook page. Here's an example where we can drag foods onto the horse. If the horse eats them, they disappear. If they're foods that are not suitable for a horse, they snap back to their original position. Let's look at how to create an activity builder for ourselves. You start off with a normal notebook page. In this example I've decided to make an activity where I can crunch prime numbers and non-prime numbers. But all of these objects on the notebook page are just normal objects. I've just used text. To convert this normal notebook page to an activity builder, we first click on the add-ons tab and then select Activity Builder. You build the activity by first of all selecting the object that you want to be a container for the other objects. So in this case I've selected my prime number cruncher. I now click on Edit. Now I can choose which objects are accepted. So in this case I need to drag in the prime numbers from my set. Below it, there's the option to reject the other objects. Given that every other number on the page is not a prime number, I can add all remaining. When I've finished, I click Done. The next step is to check that my prime number cruncher is working OK. The prime numbers should disappear, and the non-prime numbers should snap back to their original positions. As you can see, this is working absolutely as it should. If I need to reset the activity builder, as I need to do here, just click Reset All and all of the numbers reappear in their appointed places. The next stage in building this activity is to set up my non-prime number cruncher. So first of all I select this object identify it as an activity object using edit. I can then drag the objects that it will accept which in this case are the non-prime numbers. And in the reverse of the previous move I can now add all the remaining numbers which should be the prime numbers if I've done my maths okay. I then click done and that activity object is set up. My page is now fully operational. Students can come to the board, choose a number and decide where to actually put the number. If they get it right, it disappears. If they get it wrong, the number is rejected and they can have another go. In building this activity, I've accepted the default for the objects, namely for accepted objects to fade out and rejected objects to bounce back. There are however some other options you may like to explore. The Activity Builder is an example of an add-on for Smart Notebook 11. In the future, Smart are hoping to introduce more add-ons into this tab for you to build even better and more interactive lesson content. So do keep an eye on the Smart Exchange. In a later video, we'll be exploring another add-on called Extreme Collaboration. So please do watch that video too.